Hey everyone, it's Aspire Gentleman, and today we're gonna catch them all. No, not really, we're just gonna make a tutorial for this bag, so. Yes, if you guys are playing Pokemon Go right now, or if you're a Pokemon fan and you really want a bag, this is a great tutorial for you. And don't worry, it's very easy and simple and very conventional for all purpose uses, like if you're going into the city, or if you're going Pokemon hunting and you don't want to carry a lot of stuff. This is a great tutorial so you know what you're having. So pay attention very closely to each step so you don't miss anything along the way. And make sure you get your Pokeballs ready because we're going to catch them all in a second. To get started on this tutorial, I'm actually going to use side pieces of a cardboard that I have lying around in my house. I'm going to cut off the ends to make half circles to make a complete circle. But if you do have a whole circle, you don't have to do this. Or if you have a whole piece of cardboard, you don't have to do this step. So once I have it cut out, I'm going to take a actual bowl that's from my kitchen and we're going to use it as a reference for the circle of the purse. So all together you should be able to make eight semicircles because you're going to make it so durable so it won't bend or get messed up. So for each circle you're going to need two circles. So all together, I would prefer you to make eight semicircles. And if you don't understand, please watch in the following clips so you can get a visual understanding. So remember those eight semicircles I was telling you about? So when I made four full circles, I taped two circles together and two together on another side so that each side of the purse has a durability to withstand the hardness of the purse because your whole purse could be made out of cardboard and fabric. Once I have both of the circles complete for either side, I'm going to take fabric to the actual circle and fabric glue it or just glue it to the fabric. You can also just use hot glue also and then you cut out the excess around it. And you're going to do this for the inside and outside of the circles which are going to be your pokeballs. Now for the inside, I'm going to actually make it an arm's length from the fingertip of my hand all the way to my elbow. That's how long I want this to wrap around the whole Pokeball. But I'm going to take my circles and see how wide I want my actual Pokeball purse to be. You can make this wider or just a little bit smaller in width, but I decided to make mine enough so where if I carry it around, I want to make sure that all my stuff is in it and not too much. Once I pin the fabric to the actual circles of the Pokeball purse, I'm going to actually hand sew it or you can actually hot glue it. And then I'm going to add a cardboard interfacing or cardboard lining on the inside of the purse to keep a steady foundation. So once I actually put the cardboard piece in for the foundation of inside of the purse, I'm going to add a piece of fabric to cover that up by using my hot glue. Now I'm going to actually do the lining parts for the zipper. For the zipper, I'm going to do it the same way I did the under parts or the circumference of the foundation of the purse. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, please watch the following clips. It sh should be very thorough. Now for the side parts, you can either hand sew it or you can glue it. I decided to glue it just to keep things really secure. Or you can actually glue it and then sew it so you know that things will not fray or just fall off. But once I have that, I'm going to take my glue and then glue my zipper to the fabric because I know it is not going to be weak enough to break. But I would suggest you sew and glue just so you know everything is together. Now here is where the fun part begins. So I'm going to take my purse and actually put it onto the red fabric I have to make a whole circle. After that, I'm going to actually cut it in half, the red circle, and use it for each half circle for the Pokemon ball. So I should be having a red half circle on one side and a red half circle on the other side of this Pokemon purse. Now take your red circle and actually fold it in half and mark the middle piece because this is how we're going to cut it in half evenly so one side isn't too long than the other. Now you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue that on top of it 
and make sure that you also have your black material or black felt material to glue on the middle part of the pokeball. And once I finished the black piece, I actually took out two circles out of my white fleece material and made the center button for the Pokemon button on top of it. And I glued it, you don't have to sew everything on. So once you have that, you're basically 95% done. Isn't it so cute? Anyways, let's get started on the bags. The bag's actual straps to keep it on you. So for the straps, I decided to use a long piece of red material to go with the Pokeball. And what I did was I just cut out long strips, and you can make it as long as you want to fit your body type. I made mine really long and I cut out a piece of strip. Once I did that, I actually folded in the sides and then I folded it toward the middle. So each folded end meet each other and then I sewed down each side. So the clip that I had for sewing those straps actually got lost in the computer process so I'm sorry about that. But once I have that I'm just going to take out some white square materials and actually sew it onto where the straps are going to be placed on so that I know my straps aren't going to get lost. So once you sew it I actually glued it and then sewed it so I have a secure strap area so in case I'm going running while catching these Pokemon I don't have to worry about my purse falling apart or my bag. Alright, and now you all can be your own Pokemon trainers. And what I mean that by that is, you know, go out, go play that Pokemon Go, go do you. But do it in a safe way. Please make sure you're in groups of people that are your friends or in a group event so you won't get robbed or kidnapped or any of that other stuff that people have been saying negative views toward Pokemon Go. But make sure that you're having fun also and that make sure no one is bullying you or other people. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. And I'll see all you ladies and gents later in the next tutorial in the next video. So, bye-bye guys. Bye.